it's not about how many hours you can sit on the desk and study it's about how many hours you can do effective studies and that is what that matters most of us associate our studies to how many hours we have completed in a day is it the right way to do that do we effectively study for a number of hours in a day and can we study 12 hours every day for a long period of time this is everything that we are going to talk about in this video so i hope this video will be helpful for you guys and if it is don't uh, forget to let me know in the comment section below so yeah let's move forward with today's video so yeah uh, if you guys know i uploaded a, a daily routine video around two to three months ago and back then uh, i used to study for 12 hours each day now i don't do that so i just want to let you know that why i don't study 12 hours now and how and why i was able to study 12 hours back then the time stamps for everything will be in the description box below so if you think you want to skip to a particular part feel free to do that and yeah let's just get started with the video sometimes we can also study for 12 hours 14 hours and yet that could not be effective but some days now you can only study for four hours five hours and those hours will be ultra productive for you guys you know there is a bunch of factors that affect your studies and uh, the study hours and how uh, you can make those hours effective you know we are going to talk about these factors today if we just tackle the very first question that is 12 hours study possible the there is no solid answer for this uh, for someone that could be yes for someone that could be no and for someone that could be maybe so you know this just depends from person to person you need to see for yourself what suits for you for example back then i used to study for 12 hours now i don't study for 12 hours there is a particular reason for that now i'm going to share the reason with you guys so yeah uh, just wanted to let you know that there is no solid answer for this that is it possible or is it not possible i have done that i have studied for 12 hours and i just want to say yes it is possible if you have that kind of motivation if you have that kind of passion or if you have that kind of time in your life you can do that but that it is not possible always because studying for 12 hours sitting on the desk you also have a life outside of uh, studies and sometimes you neglect this and if you neglect the other parts of your life then you can focus 12 hours of study every day if i'm considering a week of time i used to effectively study for five days but at least two days would be like this that i would not be feeling well or i would not be uh, willingly wanting to study for uh, 12 hours so there is an exception for that also every time there is an exception if you just try to increase your study hours you can consistently study for eight hours rather than study for uh, five days for 12 hours and then for four to five hours for the next two days this is not effective by far this is what i have experienced i think if you guys are committing to a certain amount of hours in the day now just see all the factors that i am talking in today's video just see what suits for you and if you think still you want to study for 12 hours just go for it because at the end of the day now it's something that you own have that feeling from inside you'd have that kind of motivation okay uh there should be anything there could be anything but now i need to study for 12 hours if you have that kind of motivation now just don't stop do it sit down sit there study for 12 hours but at the end of the day now if you think no yeah kuch to kami hai nahi ho para if you feel like this now it's okay just back off reduce the uh, study hours uh, just see how much hours you can study effectively just study for those many hours this is what i want to say uh, some days now studying for only five hours can give you the satisfaction that you cannot even get after studying for 12 hours it's all about satisfaction and you know having that happiness at the end of the day it's all about that if you only study for five hours and you think i am satisfied for today i did my job i did everything that i could do and those five hours would be more much more effective than 12 hours and you're not happy you're getting my point uh just try and be satisfied if you study for five hours maybe uh, you just did something that you thought was uh, very much close to your heart or you did the subject that was a really really you know uh, kind of uh, motivating for you uh, then uh, that day you can only study for five hours and you will be like ah i'm done for the day uh, today was great it is good it is okay but sometimes now after you are studying for 12 hours you don't feel that i it i have been through this uh, i used to study for 12 hours and some days i was just like ah man what i did today i don't remember anything i don't have an output of what i did today and there is a feeling sometimes even after studying for 12 hours so i'm just saying that if just try and uh, see when you get satisfied with yourself when you feel happy about the studies uh, so yeah, just seek for that feeling that you get ah i completed something 
you know you are getting my point <laughs> you are getting my point so let's talk about different scenarios here now i'm just going to let you know what factors can help you study more or what factors are you know directly connected to study for 12 hours or 14 hours or these are the factors that you need to keep in mind if you are trying to determine how many hours you need to study the very first thing is motivation motivation is the most important thing the second thing as how much near your exam is this is the another very very important thing if your exam is near now then you just need to sit there and study for 12 hours man and after after that the next thing that i have is willingness to study every day this is another point that we are going to talk about and the last point that i will be talking about in this video will be how much actually time you have in a day these are the four points that i want to talk about and i think these are the four most major part uh, that that associates with how many hours you can study in a day so let's just dive into the very first thing that we have here that is motivation you know motivation plays the most important part of your life of your preparation because if you are not motivated you will not study you will not even study for 2 hours if you are not motivated and if you are correctly motivated you will study effectively for 10 or 12 hours so you know that motivation that thing that really really plays an important role in in your life uh, you know uh, what exactly motivation could be is for me it is why it's that why in your life that matters why you want to do this uh, i'm just not talking about a preparation i'm talking about why you want to do a particular thing for example why you want to get up every day take your books sit here and study why you want to get up every day go for a run uh, if you are a sports person why you want to get up every day with a kind of motivation you know there is that why in everybody's life try and just remember yourself remind yourself of that why why i started this youtube channel why i am preparing for my state psc or upsc why i am doing this if you know that why na you are motivated man come on and some days uh, that why also does not help even if you remind yourself of why you are doing that na it does not help i know uh, but what can you do that time you can just get up in the morning listen to a podcast there are a bunch of productive podcast man i started listening to podcast around 6 months ago and definitely podcast do change your life get up in the morning go for a walk go for a walk in the early morning man it is great plug in your headphones play a podcast and that would just make your day more more good you will start your day with a very much motivation and this is the factor that plays in how many hours you can study if you are motivated in the morning now you would study for 12 hours sometimes when you are not motivated and still uh, sit on the desk and be like ah i need to complete this i need to complete this entire thing and that day you will definitely end up doing nothing because first of all you are not motivated you are pushing yourself to study hard but still uh, nothing is going inside here so you just be like frustrated you get irritated by every small thing and at the end of the day that is not effective so what can you do uh, here is that just study for a time when you are motivated just sit down uh, meditate for a little bit try to gain that energy back again and uh, once you get that energy back again na uh, sit on the desk here and then start studying again with a uh, same level of motivation right back again motivation does plays the most important factor in how many hours you can complete some days you maybe you will complete 8 hours some day you will complete 12 hours and god knows some day you can also complete 16 hours so yeah this is how it works just try and stay motivated and remind yourself of why you are doing this this can really help it's not about how many hours you can sit on the desk and study it's about how many hours you can do effective studies and that is what that matters the next point that i want to talk here is how much near is your exam you know this is another factor that plays a really important uh, role because when your exam is near now you uh, just have that adrenaline rush you have that motivation inside you that or else uh, if you were to say you have that fear inside you na that just leads up to your studies uh, when your exam is near now when i used to study 12 hours of, uh, every day uh, that was back one or one and a half months ago back then i was a uh, preparing for the exam that was going to be in this year but after that i got a notice that my exam has been postponed next year so that just reduced my motivation and that was the reason i decreased the study hours but back then i just had my exam after 2 months and that motivation i had that motivation and that's the reason i used to study for 12 hours but after that i got a notice that the exam is cancelled for this year there would be an exam next year so that just reduced my motivation my exam was far away now my exam was one year later i had that much time so i was like 
now I don't need to study for 12 hours, I can study for 8 hours, maybe 10 hours, I don't need to study for 12 hours and that was the reason I just reduced my study hours. You know, this uh, plays an important role because when your exam is near now, you have to study for 12 hours, you have to push yourself, you have to push yourself to the maximum hours that you can study because that time you don't have any other option you can't be like oh my god i'm not motivated man i'm not gonna study this is not the option that you have back then you that time all uh, everything that is going on in my mind is how much more i can study how much i can maximize myself how much i can uh, increase my productivity this is the second factor that affects how many hours you can study in a day moving forward to the next point the next point that i have here is willingness to study you know this thing matters a lot because you need to have that willingness inside you that yeah i need to study you should have that inside you you cannot have any external motivation for that nothing nothing can work you can watch a bunch of videos you can watch many motivational quotes you can watch many podcasts nothing will work if you don't have willingness to study we can definitely study for 12 hours a day but can we do that every day Let's just ask the same question to yourself. I know 80% of you must be saying no. You cannot continue that for a long period of time because we don't have that willingness to study. You should see for yourself. You should just create such a great atmosphere around yourself that you should feel like sitting on the desk and study. You should see different different uh, study methods that you can use. For example, now I'm using mind maps. That is really helping. Now I use some digital note taking method that really helps. I see, I watch different kind of lectures on YouTube and that also helps. So these are the new techniques now that help me and that, you know, increases the, my willingness to study. So that is something that you should do. You should see for yourself and make a routine that can increase your willingness to study. So, you know, you're getting my point. You should not make your study just a whole school study technique, just taking the books, highlighting, underlining. You cannot do that for 12 hours. But if you divide your day, for example, start my day, my morning current affairs, after that, uh, watching a lecture, then just the old school studies, just taking the book, underlining, highlighting, everything. After that, you can do paper analysis on your laptop, then online note taking you can do. And apart from that, you, at the end of the day, you can revise yourself by doing mind maps. You know, you have different techniques or you are, you have, you are doing a different task uh, for the entire day. So you are not going to get bored and that will increase your willingness to study. And the last point that I want to talk here is how much time do you actually have in your day? Uh, you know, this is something for working professionals or if you are doing another degree apart from this preparation, then you know, the number of hours that you have in a day is already low. If you are working, then already you don't have six to seven hours in a day. You are just going to get four hours, five hours. You need to do maximum amount of studies in those four to five hours. You know, that time you don't even have an option of studying for 12 hours. You just need to study for four to five hours. And, but what you can do is try and make those hours effective. You know, studying for 12 hours does not matter. But studying effectively for only five to six hours, that is what matters. You know, if you are a working professional and if you still study for four to five hours, that will give you satisfaction because, you know, you are already drained out because of your job. And after that, you are studying for four hours. Hats off to you because yeah, it is a bit difficult and I just want to say that if you can tackle that, you would be satisfied at the end of the day and that is what matters. Be satisfied at the end of the day. Uh, so yes guys, now let's conclude today's video. So is studying 12 hours possible? Yes, it is definitely possible. But you know, you need to consider all these different factors that I just told you guys and try and make those study hours effective. It's not the hours that matter. It is the things that you understand in that time, the study material that you go through in that time that is important, not the hours, but how much you understood in this time. You do have to have a life apart from your preparation. The preparation is just a part of your life, not your entire life. So try and give time to your family, your friends, socialize outside and try and have different hobbies in uh, with you. Try to pursue those hobbies because, you know, that is what life is all about it is not just about your preparation you need to maintain a balance between both of them and if you maintain the balance now you just won the life guys so yeah this was it for this video guys i think i was able to convey uh, the message that i wanted to tell you guys i just wanted to let you know that yeah you should do effective studies rather than focusing on, on how many hours you completed in a day and yeah this was it for this video guys i hope you like the video and if you do don't forget to hit that like button Subscribe to my channel and also comment down below what you think about the video. I'll be really happy to know all your responses and also just comment an orange heart in the comment section below if you think that this video added any value to your life. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay home, stay safe. Bye.